Okay, greetings, brothers and sisters. I know I apologize. It's been a while since I've um, come on uh, and given update. The last update I gave was when the Lord blessed me with that large sum of money on my paycheck. And uh, I wanted to tell you, all of you, what's been going on, a little bit what's been going on since then. The reason why some, the reason why I've taken so long is because actually I fell kind of ill. I got congested here in Nashville. The weather is has been constantly for a couple of weeks. It was like raining one part of the day and then extremely hot the next part of the day. And I got a little congested and lost my voice. So uh, I wanted to uh, come on and say something a couple of weeks ago. Uh, let you know what's going on. Number one, uh, I said on the last on the last podcast that or I've always preached that we know that once God does something wonderful the devil is going to try to throw a monkey wrench in the program so um, the devil tried to throw a monkey wrench in my program uh, as being that the the residence where I'm renting from uh, is in the process of being sold and I incorporated I went to the state of Tennessee and I went and did all the incorporation things I was supposed to do using this address as um as the permanent address for the corporation with the intention of uh the incorporation is not going to start to august 21st by the way uh and that's just state incorporating uh to the rest of the the united states i'm still known as daryl's dream ministry but um the incorporation is going to start august 21st of 2018 um Getting back to what I said, uh, I thought between the time I incorporated until August 21st that I would be spending most of my free time uh, preparing and getting everything ready to to uh, to start this ministry on the 21st. Now, you know, because of 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 this unexpected, my attention is a little bit divided. Uh, In between, my time is divided between making sure I have a place to live and also finding commercial uh, residency for the incorporated business, which the name of the incorporated business is First Messianic Ministry of Nashville Incorporated. So it's the First Messianic Ministry of Nashville Incorporated. Uh, I told you guys in in the past that... um, uh, as I incorporate, I was going to have to put, uh, take my name out of it, Daryl, so that people would feel more comfortable knowing that it's, uh, that is uh, uh, something offered to everyone and it's not something just to, to edify myself. So um, I've successfully done that for the Lord. And um, what I'm coming to you with right now is I, I do need to get ready to go to work, but I wanted to. Um, talk to those of you who listen to me through Spreaker.com. Please go to my website. My website is all lowercase letters, preachjesusright.net. And um, that's spelled P-R-E-A-C-H, Jesus, R-I-G-H-T, dot net, N-E-T. And uh, I'm going to do a quick overview when you go to my website right now, there's no graven images. Um, it seems like there's a lot of wording. You know, it, it looks more like a, a newspaper where I have um, things on the top which will periodically change. I'll periodically change them as we move forward in time and as as things change. But right now, at the top uh, of my um, of my the website. The website at the top it says great news in uh, great news the Tennessee State First Messianic Ministry of Nashville Incorporated shall commence 21 August 2018. By the way, if if you're going to my website and you're using your cell phone and you probably have one of the older cell phones that doesn't have the big screen on it and the words look really tiny, just turn your phone. You should turn your phone horizontally. And the words will become big enough for you to see them. Okay? 
And right now, I'm going to put eventually, because I'm still learning how to do the HTML. Uh, when I get the time, I'm going to put uh, bookmarks so that uh, or a next section uh, link so so that you don't have to scroll through all of the um, all of the different sections to get down to to the section involved or or the section that you need to to read from. So right now, I still have. At first, you will see things about Daryl's Dream Ministry. Um, like I, I had to learn about incorporating. I thought when I incorporated that it would I would be incorporated with this name throughout the whole United States, but I was wrong. I I realized that um, I went to the state government to incorporate, and so in the state of Tennessee, um, the incorporated business is known as uh, First Messianic Ministry of Nashville Incorporated. But throughout the rest of the United States, if I wanted this name to be um, to be official throughout all 50 states, I have to file for something called a federal trademark. And the process for doing that takes about two years. And most people wouldn't do it unless first their um, state incorporated uh, name and business was successful anyway financially successful anyhow so um i wanted to take some time out because i do have to get ready to go to work but what what i wanted to do was take a little bit of time out to read to you um what my website says all the things that it says uh if you don't if you're not able to uh get to the website right now uh and let y'all know that you know as I learn to do better and to keep everything legal um, legal and uh, you know and proper so I'll be making changes as we go along okay excuse me I had to sip some water there okay so the top of it says great news the, state, to the, the Tennessee State First Messianic Ministry of Nashville Incorporated shall commence 21 August 2018. For more information, scroll to, or I should say scroll down to phase two below. That's the section that I have below. And then the next thing it says, of course, if, if you've been with me before, it says, Shalom Alekim, peace unto you saints. This is my web page. It is under continuous reconstruction as my website building education improves. Now, I made some rearrangements probably since the last time y'all saw it. You know, now it says below is a list of things that the Lord has given me to share with you. Please click the following link and listen to me on Spreaker.com. Please do not let the picture of my deceased father or the commercials deter you from listening to the sermon episodes. Thank you. And then, of course, it's the highlighted yellow uh, Daryl's Dream audio sermons, uh, which I still am doing, of course, like now, the audio sermons. Um, before, it had Facebook ta- telling you to go to Facebook, uh, the Facebook page first, but I put that down below. You'll see at, or you'll hear as I read. Then it says, also, if the Lord has put on your heart to give a small $2 gift toward the growth of this ministry, you can do so right here. And then there's a click, uh, uh, link, the link for the $2. If you would like to give more than $2, you can do so here. The reason why I'm putting all these, these things about money up front is to get it out of the way. Um so that we can get by those things because remember I said as I said before my main ministry which I'm coming up to is uh for us to have eternal life with Jesus Christ so I'm trying to get some of these things out of the, these uh finite things out of the way uh not that it's not important but um you know it's not as important as getting the gospel out to sharing the gospel and making sure that we we are standing in right with the Lord so um, next it says giving more than two two hundred two dollars excuse me two dollars, and then um, if you have any questions, I now I, I have it where you can email me. 
So I have a highlighted email link in blue. Just click that to send me an email, please, anybody. I did not put the, um, I have not had a chance to put the guest list up yet. And that's why I, I have it where you can email me, especially those of you who are listening uh, through Spreaker.com. Uh, please go to my website, email me, and, and let me know what you think about my ministry. Uh, um, and, or, of course, if, it, if my ministry has blessed you in any kind of way. And then down below now, I put about Daryl's dream. And I put the, the history. Daryl's dream, Messianic mystery, excuse, ministry, uh, was founded on 27 January 2016. It began as an offline ministry where Daryl's first attempt to preach under this ministry name was to go out to local parks and streets. Daryl quickly learned, excuse me, learned that in today's society, most people are indoors, locked into social media devices, and do not frequent the parks for social engagement like in the past. Uh, therefore, Daryl turn to developing an online ministry first with the hope of acquiring a following that will eventually grow offline and become the first or one of the first for-profit benefit corporation Christian ministry or ministries in the state of Tennessee and even reading that in the state of Tennessee first and I hope throughout the whole United States May God, if God be willing. So I see where I'm going to make a change right there already uh, when I get the chance. And then once again, I say introducing the first messianic ministry, uh, messianic, excuse me, first messianic ministry of Nashville Incorporated. Start date 21 August 2018. Primary mission. The primary mission of Daryl's dream messianic ministry is in fact the great commission which can be found right in the new testament gospels of the holy bible matthew chapter 28 verse 18 to 20 mark chapter 16 verse 15 to 20 luke 24 verse 44 to 53 john chapter 21 to 15 to 24 and acts chapter 2 darrell's dream and first messianic ministry of Nashville Incorporated does not preach condemnation. Darrell's dream and first messianic ministry of Nashville Incorporated preaches 100% repentance from all Holy Bible sin. And that true salvation can only come through acknowledging that there is no other true savior of all humanity except Jesus Christ. There is no other religion or belief system in existence that can accomplish what Jesus accomplished for us when he died on the cross. Also, the only way to receive Christ's forgiveness, I could not put the um, apostrophes because right now um, I, I don't have the knowledge of putting a, an apostrophe without the HTML and the PHP reading it wrong and not being able to display the, the wording. So that's why you don't see any apostrophes uh, where there should be. Okay, so uh, also the only way to receive Christ's forgiveness is to willingly repent, meaning to turn away from all thoughts, speech, or activities that are declared sinful or wicked before the presence of the Almighty Father, Yahweh, or Jehovah, according to the Holy Bible. One must be faithfully willing to allow the blood of Jesus to spiritually wash the soul of all unrighteousness and be anointed by the power and presence of the Holy Spirit and obediently be water baptized. My secondary mission, the secondary mission, Daryl's Dream Messi Messianic Ministry, and I should also put um, uh, the first... Uh, First Messianic Ministry of Nashville Incorporated, I should put that in there too, I will later, is not a non a 501c3 nonprofit organization, which many of you of course are used to. Most churches, even your televangelists, they're nonprofit. 
uh, the Lord told me to go for profit. And as we move forward in, in time, uh, we will all begin to see more, more clearly why. Okay. So it says Daryl's Dream Messianic Ministry is a for profit online ministry. So it is. That's where it started. And therefore is not prohibited from offering different types of sales and services for profit with the purpose of encouraging more Christians and minorities to invest financially and establish successful legal businesses for themselves and of course for the financial growth of the ministry. Please remember our primary mission is what is most important. That means salvation. Your salvation is most important. There is no amount of money or any other finite earthly pleasure that can replace the gift of eternal life with Jesus. Okay? None of us really knows if Christ is going to return a minute from now or a millennia from now. Nor do any of us know the day or hour the good Lord will decide to end our lives. Therefore, the secondary mission is merely a tool to use to help us all obtain an income while we live our lives in this world. I will try my best to keep the total focus on Jesus Christ and salvation during each podcast. However, I will have to review the website in its entirety sometimes as things will change and grow. Please browse each link and be blessed. Further, by his grace and mercy. Hallelujah. The Lord has given me some wonderful financial blessing opportunities to share with you. Are you in need of legal protection for yourself and your family? Or would you like to learn how you could earn some passive income by providing people with access to legal protection? If yes, your answer is yes, then click here and then I provide you with the link to Legal Shield. The next question, are you interested in trading on the foreign exchange market and in need of a good inexpensive brokerage firm that will let will get you up and trading for as little as $10? If yes, then click here the foreign exchange trade market trading uh link. Are you interested in turning your paper money into gold currency? Learn more here. And then it says, watch these videos. Then when you are ready to exchange your paper money into real gold currency, click this link. You know, and it says, I want gold. Now, as I'm reading these things, I wanted to remind you again, this is not to throw anybody off from our main primary mission, but this is this is to help those of you out there that that maybe you're looking for a way of making uh, some uh, financial uh, improvements in in your finances to to pay off bills or get out of debt, you know, which is everybody's concern. So you know, on on planet Earth, we're always trying to find something, but it's it's in no way to uh, distract you from from walking in, in obedience and in salvation before the Lord. Okay, so then I put the Facebook Daryl's Dream Ministry Facebook page down here. Please visit me at Daryl's Dream Facebook Ministry page. Um, the reason, two reasons why I did that is because all of that trouble that with the privacy and everything that Facebook, uh, Mark Zuckerberg and them, all of them are going through with. I still uh, have ministry and things on Facebook. A lot of Facebook videos I've made and things of that nature. But I do also know um, that a lot of people may be be feeling uh, indifferent toward Facebook ministry, Facebook, uh, Facebook pages right now because of all of the, the, the breach of privacy and everything. So I still have it on the page. I mean, you know, it's optional if you want to go to it. That's why I also because because I have a way you can email me straight on my page now. It's not necessary uh for you to go to Facebook, especially if you don't have Facebook for some people. So then it says, thank you for browsing the entire page. May God bless you. Uh, and I need to change that too, because um, this this is the entire, not the entire page, because I have more down here in phase two. So I'll be fixing that later too myself. Um, 
Like I said, I'm doing this as I go along. Thank you for browsing the entire page. May God bless you in Jesus Christ. Uh, Amen. Then we get to phase two. You know, phase two is particularly speaking about bringing in about uh, information about uh, the four first first Messianic ministry of Nashville Incorporated, and we're getting away from uh, Daryl's Dream Ministry because uh, I do plan to take the Incorporated Ministry into an, an actual physical building here in Nashville. Um, where we we will actually be able to meet in person and not just online. That is the future goal for for the incorporated ministry and, and, and is the purpose why I incorporated in the first place. You know, um, to keep that veil of protect corporate protection as we go out into the physical world. Okay, so it says Daryl's Dream Online Ministry is overjoyed to present to the state of Tennessee the newly formed. First Messianic Ministry of Nashville Incorporated. It shall commence on the day of Tuesday, 21 August 2018. This is the first time Darrell in Darrell's life that he ever formed a corporation for Jesus Christ. Please pray for him. Pray for me, all of y'all, please, that this for-profit evangelistic ministry venture is successful in glorifying our heavenly father and bringing more souls to salvation salvation excuse me having eternal life with jesus membership agreement and this is particularly um it's not just restricted to people in nashville if you if you or or in tennessee if you live in another state and you would like to be consider yourself an official member uh feel free to do so um but with, but um, you know, read this agreement first, and I'm going to read it once, once here. Reread it over for yourself when you get a chance. Now, the membership agreement says, as a confirmed member of First Messianic Ministry of Nashville Incorporated, I understand that my membership status depends a hundred percent upon my obedience to observe the following list of requirements. I shall be very firm about keeping and doing everything written in the Holy Bible canon. Uh, That's Genesis through Revelations, by the way, if from, you know, particularly from Genesis to Revelation. uh, In most in 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 the canon Bible, you know, Holy Canon, that means the the official um, accepted uh, Holy Bible canon. So uh, it says, particularly from Genesis to Revelation, and how it is written and presented in the complete Jewish study Bible by David Stern. This is the Bible that I have chosen for us to use as as means of study, but it in no way excludes any other uh, version of the Bible like King James. Or and you can always feel free to read those. I'm just promoting the uh promoting the scriptures as written in the complete Jewish study Bible by David Stern. Uh, that's all, you know, that will be our, our, um, principal, uh, use method as we go, as we go forward. But of course, like I tell you in all my podcasts, whatever Holy Bible you're, you're used to and that your church uses, you can use that because it's all t- telling us the same, pretty much the same stuff. And, you know, and you can see that as I'm as I'm preaching, I know I've I've read the King James. I've studied King James and NIV and and Thompson Chain and and Gideon's to know personally to know that is pretty much telling us the same story, (laughs) you know, about salvation and about Jesus Christ. So. um, So that's why, you know, I don't have any restrictions on it, but for business purposes, for for promoting uh, you know, you have to have some kind of structure. And so the structure will be the complete Jewish study Bible uh, by David Stern. Um, and so anyway, re- reading further, it says, um, I shall be very firm about keeping and doing everything written in the Holy Bible canon and then skipping all of that and not turning aside from it either to the right or to the left. I took this. I took the influences of, of this from um, Joshua chapter 23. Okay. 
And it says, then, therefore, I will not become a confused and unfruitful Christian as some people who profess themselves to be saved, yet have deviated from the commandments as provided in this holy book have done in the past. You know, so that that there is is very important. And then the next one says, I must continuously acknowledge that all other religious beliefs on the planet Earth, on planet Earth, that teach there is another way of salvation besides through Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMessiah Messiah is, his, uh, is the Hebrew Aramaic name, is false testimony and a sin before our almighty creator, Yahweh or Jehovah, if you um using the J. Uh the next thing says, I must continuously take great care in placing my private and public relationship with Jesus Christ as first priority above everything and everyone else in my life. Okay, so that part right there, those those uh things, like I said, I was influenced. If you go to Joshua chapter 23 and read what Joshua, how Joshua commissioned the people that's where I took the uh, the reference or influence from from wording this this way the way that I did. Okay, so now uh, the next thing it says is if in the future I make a decision to deviate from the teachings of the holy in the Holy Bible or involve myself in manipulative scripture twisting of any kind, I shall automatically be severed from authorized official membership. To First Messianic Ministry of Nashville Incorporated, and my monthly membership fee status will be immediately terminated or unsubscribed. Unless it can be shown that I have learned that my ways of thinking were of conflict of interest to the goals of this ministry. Remember, I'm a for profit ministry, so therefore, unlike a non profit, uh, whenever somebody has a disagreement with with uh, the process of, of, of what we're doing, that's a conflict of interest. That's considered a conflict of interest. And I don't understand why anybody would want to continue to belong to this ministry if you're having a personal conflict of interest anyway. But some people out there might want to do that thinking that they're going to change the course of the direction that we're going in, you know, strict obedience unto the Lord. Uh, some people might, you know, out there, unfortunately might, might feel that they can get inside and, um, and, you know, declare that they're a paying member and that therefore their voice should be heard. And they don't really want to follow the way the the Bible a hundred percent. They want to twist it up a little bit and all that kind of stuff. Um, that can happen in any any kind of business or or church or anything like that. So therefore, before you submit or subscribe to paying any membership fees, it's important that you know this up here. That's why I said read the read the uh, membership agreement first. I don't want to take. I'm I'm not forcing anybody, and I don't want to take anybody's money who's not in agreement with with what we're doing and who we're serving. Okay, so. So the uh, the monthly membership fee status will be immediately terminated or unsubscribed unless it can be shown that I have learned that my ways of thinking were in, of conflict of interest, the uh, interest to the goals of this ministry. And I am willing to repent and obey God's commandments as written in the Holy Bible. Bible. OK, excuse me. I, all right. So unless I. Well, they, that was one sentence there. Excuse me. Now, uh, upon signed, documented, and dated confession and repentance, and a new commitment to trust and obey the Lord and Jesus Christ, I shall be allowed to resubscribe to the monthly membership fee and regain my status as an approved member of this ministry. And I put that there because some people, if it's in writing, so some people will try to say that I'm trying to be uh, legalistic or anything like that, which is not not the case. Uh, unloving and and I'm just trying to start some kind of some kind of a 
hate hate movement or something like that. No, <laughs> I'm just trying to stay strictly obedient unto God and and keep everything, you know, within the ministry. You know, those of you who are Christians, you understand what I'm saying uh, in the ministry, straight and legal and protected under my veil of cooperation there. So um, then the last part. And then I'm going to have to get off people because I have to get myself ready to go to work. First, Messianic Ministry of Nashville Incorporated monthly membership fee. And then here's more agreement. I am fully aware that membership fees. Oh, I, I put two eyes. Oh, I'm, I'm going to put I have to change that. Um, let me see here. Just a minute. I can do that right away here. Erase that. Let me see. Erase that. Save. Refresh. Boom. I am fully aware. Okay. So now I'm back. I refreshed it. Just refresh your uh refresh it if you're reading along with me. I am fully aware. That membership fees are in no way a payment to receive the preaching of the gospel. You're not paying me to um, you're not paying me to to receive the gospel. You're not paying me money to be preached to. You know, the gospel, of course, is free, free of charge. Right. OK, so um, it says that and then it says. Uh, my paid fee is an investment to the future financial growth of this ministry's ability to acquire commercial, residential real estate and conduct business and create jobs. What that means is, is where your money is, is an investment so that I can pay for a, a, a place for us to go and, and physically worship. And so or, or for first messianic ministry, because. I'm going to have to get out of the habit of saying that because uh, First Messianic Ministry of Nashville Incorporated is actually its own entity. It's not me. It's it's its own entity. So I'm going to have to get used to saying that. Like I said, forgive me. I'm learning as I go <laughs> along the way. You know, the Lord is I'm teaching and learning at the same time. So um, it says here commercial real estate and to conduct business, you know, for, for basically for conducting business, commercial and residential real estate and to create jobs. That's what a for profit. That's the main thing that a for profit, uh, corporation rather than a nonprofit corporation. That's the main thing financial wise is that is to acquire real estate and create jobs, you know, that's that's the main goal of of incorporating in the first place under for profit status. So um, that is the focus of of that, along with of of the ministry, along with preaching the gospel. So the gospel is being freely preached. Everything we do that involves money is for the purpose of acquiring real estate and creating jobs for people. Okay. Um, and uh, let's see here. And we'll talk about more of that later when I have time. So now I'm going to sit. It's, it's, it's in green, highlighted in green. Paying your monthly membership does not in any way exempt me. Um, you know, you, you're, whoever's reading this is understand. Exempt me from paying tithes unto God. Do not say, well, I don't have to pay tithes to God in my church or wherever or because because I'm paying forty dollars a month to this ministry, you don't understand the ministry money should be coming out of your ninety percent that you get to keep none of the the money you give me should be what you you as a Christian know you're supposed to give the to unto God you know uh so I just made, wanted to make that clear, giving me forty dollars, you should still go ahead and give your ten percent to God. And don't give that to me, assuming that you don't gave it to gave your 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 thing to God, because that's that's just two different things. Um, and then it says, I am fully aware that there is no refund for membership fees already committed to this ministry. 
You know, okay, so y'all, whoever out there wants to be a part of this, when you give your monthly membership, you paid for that month in advance. And um, and if for any reason you get upset or decide that that uh, you don't want to be a member anymore, you know, you won't get that money back. But as it says down here, also fees may change depending upon necessity um, of financial stability of this ministry. That means right now I have it at forty dollars a month. And you'll see that if you click the subscribe button, forty dollars a month. And then I have um it says one one thing at, you can pay for two months at at sixty dollars for uh two months, and then if you want it four months, uh you can pay for four months at a hundred and twenty dollars. Okay? So that's the amount of money. It's an investment, okay? And it's not your tithes at all. It's an investment toward helping us um, acqu acquire the commercial residential real estate and to produce jobs for, uh, for other people eventually in the future, okay? And so it says here, also fees change depending on continued ministry. All right. If for any reason in the future I am no longer in agreement with the above membership agreement, it is 100% my responsibility to unsubscribe my financial commitment to this incorporated ministry before the next billing due date. And then you can see, those of you, if you're looking, I have the subscribe button on top, and then right below it is the unsubscribe button. So it's left up to you if, if in the future. I hope not because we're you know the our goal is to preach the word of god to you and that and encourage you uh just like somebody that was on doing the Atkins diet or something like that encourage you to obey it for your benefit not for mine but for your blessed benefit so i hope in the future that no one would would have a problem with with this but we live in a world where people can find some fault with anything, and I'm pretty sure that there will be people finding fault with with this ministry or the way it's designed or the direction that, that God is trying to get us to go in. So uh, with that said, I thank you, all of you who are probably listening to me uh, read this. Now, I definitely do need to get myself ready to go to work uh, at the hospital. And I will be making an, a joining video. Thank you. Thank you uh, for your patience. I know you're wondering, where is he? Has he gone anywhere? I want to remind you, if I am not making podcasts or doing anything like that, it's usually that I'm trying to make sure I keep my records, my banking records and and personal records and working and doing things like that to make sure, you know, that I uphold my part. You know, getting into that, we're going to get into... Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 8, 9, and 10, which even talks about, the Apostle Paul starts talking about, being, do we have the right to make money off of preaching the gospel? And um, furthermore, we're going to get into 8, 9, and 10. Hopefully, I pray the next, the next uh, podcast that I do, we will be going back into that and we will be preaching from that because that's very important for us to understand. You know, uh, there's a lot of people out there that think you cannot profit off the gospel. Um, you can, but, you know, uh, as far as the Apostle Paul and them were concerned, it's not recommended to do, but you, you can. You are allowed. There's no commandment or you're not sinning against God if you do. But because a lot of times people have very strong sensitivity with money, that's another reason why, you know, you you hear people all the time say, oh, those people are just robbing me blind, you know. <laughs> and so um, the Apostle Paul was sensitive to that. If you if you don't know what I'm talking about, read uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9. And then uh, when when the Lord gives me the ability, I'm going to try after all of this is said, said and done. I'm going to try to make that recommitment to be to do Friday, Friday evening podcast every Friday. But um, right now, I'm just not there yet. But uh, pray for me that I get back back to doing that. OK, God bless all of you in Jesus name. Amen.